it was a great honor. And when I found out that only six were given out per year, it was an even greater honor. It was overwhelming for me. Um, I, I didn't think I deserved it. Um, I thought that we reacted like any other police officer would given the same set of circumstances. Lieutenant Raymond Garcia and Officer Scott O'Connor from the El Segundo Police Department were among six officers awarded the top honor for state police, the State Medal of Valor. And I'm in awe, of course, of the six uh, uh, people and heroes that we are celebrating here today uh, because they are you know, risking their own lives in order to really save other people's lives. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger handed out the medals in a special celebration that recognizes those who put their lives on the line to save others. One night in April of 2008, officers O'Connor and Garcia went above and beyond the call of duty. They were wounded in gun battle with an armed man at a crowded movie theater. Garcia shot in the face, O'Connor struck in the chest and shoulder. Both of them, dazed and bleeding profusely, fired their weapons, incapacitating the suspect to save their lives and the lives of hundreds of moviegoers. When the first shot went off, I remember a, a flashing image of my wife and kids, and to put a lot of importance on myself in the house, I remember thinking, what are they going to do? I hope everything's in order. I thought I was shot in the head. It's crazy. But yeah, they're, they're, they are my, my motivation. They're my reason to go home. And you still got up. I got up. I got up, and Lieutenant Garcia got up, and we went after him. Officer Scott O'Connor has been with the El Segundo Police Department for 12 years. He signed up for a career in law enforcement 15 years ago with one goal, to make a difference. He says he always knew he had physical strength, but on the night of the shooting, he discovered his mental strength. That strength from within, he says, is what keeps him going. I, I can't say that I knew it was down in there all my life. I don't think you ever know until the chips are down if you've got what it takes or not. You know, I didn't want to die, and I didn't want that guy to get away with trying to kill me and take my life and trying to kill my partner. And however I did it, I ignored the pain, I ignored the danger, and I, from somewhere down inside, I pulled up the strength to go after him. For Lieutenant Raymond Garcia, who has dedicated his whole career in law enforcement to the El Segundo Police Department, strength comes from doing what's right. I think the strength came from watching my partner involved in this, and in my head, he was being killed right in front of me. So uh, the strength came to get up, end it as fast as I could, try to help my partner out, and uh, hopefully everything would work out. Yeah, the bullet that hit him was meant for my face. After about a year of recovery for each, officers O'Connor and Garcia resumed their duties as full-time officers, but more importantly for them, as husbands and fathers. They attribute their character and compassion to their families. The community they serve has responded with appreciation. Hundreds of people, adults and children have flooded their offices with greeting cards and warm wishes honoring their selfless acts of heroism. You know, a lot of people tell me I'm a hero. I hear it all the time, but I'm not, I'm very modest. I'm not the, the type of person that walks around and says I'm a hero and sticks my chest out. It was a heroic act, and I'm, I'm happy with the outcome, even though I got hurt and Lieutenant Garcia got hurt. If I could go back in time and change it, I wouldn't. I'll take my lumps the way they came. I don't consider myself a hero at all. Uh, the people that I consider heroes are the men and women that night who they heard the call come out of two officers shot and they responded without hesitation. Us, we didn't know what we were getting into. Today, they're an inspiration for the community. Prior to receiving the State Medal of Valor, both were awarded the South Bay Medal of Valor. I would just like to thank the community, the department, the city, um, for their ongoing support. Even, even to this day, um, I get asked, um, 
people will come up to me, hey, how are those two officers doing? Not knowing it's me. And uh, I think it's great. I know it's been almost, it's been over a year and a half, but nobody has forgotten. And I thank the community for that and the department for their support and the city for their support. Feels good. Well, you know, this incident, I think, brought together not only a department, it brought together a community. They rallied around us when we really needed it. Um, for the first couple weeks, I was unconscious. But when I came to and I saw the overwhelming support, I've never felt anything like that before in my life. And uh, I've, I've, I like to say I've been around the block a few times uh, in my time in the Marines. And uh, never have I felt that kind of community support. So yeah, it was overwhelming, really. For the community, the Medal of Valor is about courage. Residents say they're happy to have Garcia and O'Connor back on the job full time, as the governor put it, without applause, without adulation. Reporting for El Segundo TV, I'm Limor Shlamov.